Apple White Series 7 is here and the bigger size and the bigger screen is just great. I was able to type and also swipe to type messages to my friends. Also this bigger screen makes it look more futuristic and faster charging is a great plus as well. No, it doesn't come in ceramic. I know it's only a couple of us asking for the ceramic watch. And no, you don't need to upgrade if you have Series 6. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you... What? Oh, you want to see some intro and see some tests? Well, then toggle your 8K, sit down because we're going to have a lot of fun. Before we move on, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you very much. I love you too. I said I love you too. This is the brand new Apple Watch Series 7. Product red with braided solo loop, to be exact. Compared to Watch Series 6, this 45mm version is a little taller and wider. The always-on Retina LTPO OLED display, which is 1000 nits, is 20% bigger. And Apple says the always-on screen is brighter and IP6X dust resistant. Just like other Apple watches, it is 50 meter water resistant and just like Series 6, it has blood oxygen, ECG, heart rate apps, fall detection, compass, always on altimeter and 18 hour battery life. But this one also charges faster. So I guess the question is, is Apple Watch Series 7 any good? And here it is. Apple Watch Series 7 comes in this nicely designed box. This box is not sealed so that people at Apple Store can create the combination of the band and watch you pick. Inside the box we're greeted with band and underneath that the watch. Let's start with the band. This braided solo loop comes in its own sealed box and inside the box we're greeted with a paper and the band itself, which looks gorgeous by the way. And inside Apple Watch's box, we're greeted with some papers, the new USB-C to Apple Watch charger cable for fast charging and Apple Watch in its red sleeve. As usual, it is a beautiful looking watch and by itself it doesn't look any bigger than Series 6 which is good news. It is not easy to tell the size difference even when you hold Series 6 next to Series 7. But when we start measuring, that's when the size difference shows itself. As expected, Series 7 is taller and wider. However, the thickness is the same. Good. Now. Let's talk about performance. Is S7 SIP faster than S6? The S7 is rebranded S6, so actually there is no difference. However, when I was installing my backup to these watches, for some reason S7 installed the backup faster every single time. But that can be for a couple of different reasons. It can be because this watch already had my uh, Apple ID in it and maybe it was checking that but there was this one point where S6 was just getting stuck and S7 was taking the lead and installing the backup faster even though I installed exact same backup and everything is the same and I tried it with changing the phones and stuff like that every time S7 was faster but, but when it comes to launching apps or when it comes to booting up the watch, it is exactly the same. Of course, the bigger screen is very obvious and it makes everything a lot easier, including entering your passcode. As I mentioned before, I was able to use this keyboard and write a message to my friend very easily. It's actually not that bad. Also, the auto correction is helping you a lot. But when it comes to uh, swipe to type it makes everything a lot easier and I like that much more. However the number key is here and you you think backspace would be there but the backspace is here 
That's the only thing you need to get used to, but other than that, it's, it's very, very easy. The screen is bright, but according to my tests, the screen on Series 6 is a little brighter than the screen on Series 7, and I'm guessing that's because with the bigger screen, they wanted to consume a little power compared to Series 6, even though both of these watches have same 18 hour all day long battery life. And pro tip, if you turn off Hey Siri, because probably a lot of your devices have that feature already, you will save a lot of battery on your watch. I use Race to Speak and it is the best function on one of the best functions on this watch. As I was going through the comparisons, I misunderstood the speaker. I thought the speaker in Series 7 is 50% uh, louder because there was an alignment issue on the page. And I went outside and did a test and this happened. We have a random citizen over there and she's gonna call us and I'm wearing the watch on this hand so we'll be hearing it. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well as well. Um, yeah. Would you like to? Would you like to tell us something? You can. You can. This is your. This is your time. You can. You know. Plug in your. Oh yeah. Um, so I was calling you to let you know that uh, Time of the Dragon's got a new song, Darcy. It's uh, out on all the streaming services. So I just want to let you know that because. If I don't let you know that, then how on earth would you know? What was that you were talk saying about Time and the Dragon? Hey, so I was telling you about my band Time and the Dragon, a new song that's out called Darcy, because um, it's going to be out on streaming services, like all of those platforms, you know, that you listen to your music on. Our yeah. song Darcy is coming out. It's about a witch, you know. And then I get back home and I grab my Series 3 and I started doing tests. When you put a decibel meter next to these watches and play a sweep, uh, it, series 3 was actually louder compared to the others but that only tells half of the story when it comes to playing something as some someone talking which is what you would use these watches more for uh, the difference is very clear compared to series 3 and yeah they're louder this is a test for Apple Watch speaker. This is a test for Apple Watch speaker. This is a test for Apple Watch speaker. I hope the Apple Watch speaker is sounding nice, loud, full, and crisp. Because that's how we like our speakers. Thank you very much for coming to my TED Talk. When it comes to microphones, I played a little ukulele for these little watches and they seem to enjoy it. Now let's talk about faster charging. This watch comes with a USB-C watch charger and they say it charges the watch, Series 7 watch only, faster, which is true. I was able to charge uh, in 30 minutes from 10% to 60% with Series 7 and with Series 6 from 10% to 49%. So 40%, 39% with Series 6 and 50% with Series 7. But there's one thing you have to know about fast charging. Series 7 doesn't fast charge when the screen is on. As soon as the screen turns off, it starts faster charging, so keep that in mind. Overall, as you'd expect, everything is fine, everything works fine, it's another beautiful Apple Watch. I'm so sad that we don't have ceramic. Ceramic is the most beautiful Apple Watch, for me at least and I hope they'll bring it back with the next generation. Oh, and something to consider is these braided solo loops. If you're gonna get the braided solo loop and if you've measured your wrist, I have two of these uh, which I bought after measuring my wrist, but in time, they got a little looser. So this time I went with one size smaller and I think that's gonna be great because this was completely normal in the beginning and now, as you can see, it's a little loose. 
you can you can tighten it up again by pulling it like that but it gets loose immediately so keep that in mind so if you have series 6 are you missing out no would i switch from series 6 to series 7 if i was not a tech reviewer no the bigger screen is really nice the faster charging is really nice but other than that everything is the apple watch that we know and love now that we have a bigger screen now that we have a faster charging watch and it's getting better and better i think when it comes to the app layout this is by the way how i lay out my apps it's very easy to follow and i know where everything is and i can i can find them very easily but we need folders we definitely need folders that would be a great feature if it comes in the future also i think we need a simple baby browser for this one we still can go to the websites if you send yourself a link through your messages so we have something like that in the watch but i think it would be great if we have it so that's my apple watch 7 review i also ordered the stainless steel version because that's what i like to use stainless steel and ceramic but so far i'm really enjoying this um, aluminium red one it's really light and it does the same thing so and most of the time you cannot tell this is stainless steel so it was usually a gift for myself but maybe this year i'll cancel cancel the, the stainless steel one and just wear this but as usual i'm really curious about what you're thinking please let me know what you think about apple series 7 in the comment section below and until i see you the next time take really good care of yourselves and hoshakalan